Pregnancy is a time of great physical and emotional change for women, and a time in which physical activity is often encouraged. Contrary to previous beliefs, more and more research finds that exercise during pregnancy is safe for both mother and child. Despite this fact, only about 23.3% of pregnant women meet the Canadian guidelines for physical activity during pregnancy. It is obvious that there is a lack of understanding about the safety, benefits, and current guidelines associated with exercising during pregnancy. All these topics will be covered in this video. So, exactly how safe is it for women to engage in exercise during pregnancy? Well, to answer that question, we will look at three main areas most women are worried about. First, what is the risk exercise has on my child? Contrary to previous beliefs, exercise does not have any association to increased risk for preterm birth or low birth weight if the type of exercise is aerobic or strength at moderate intensity. Let's pause for a second here. What is aerobic exercise? Aerobic exercise helps improve the body's ability to transport oxygen. It can include things such as walking, stationary cycling, water aerobics, or aerobic dance. What is strength exercise? Strength exercise helps strengthen your muscles and can include exercises associated with an exercise ball such as leaning forward or wall squats. What is considered moderate intensity? Moderate intensity activities are those that pass the talk test. You should be able to maintain a conversation during your exercise. Second, how safe is it for me to start exercising during pregnancy if I was previously sedentary? Again, Contrary to previous beliefs, pregnancy is actually considered an ideal time not only for continuing exercise but also for initiating an active lifestyle. A recent study showed that a combination of moderate aerobic dance and strength exercise had no negative effects on either maternal or fetal health of women who were sedentary prior to their pregnancy. Lastly, is it still safe for me to exercise during pregnancy if I have either chronic hypertension, gestational diabetes, or obesity? The answer is yes. A recent study of 722 women with at least one of these conditions engaging in moderate aerobic and strength exercise showed no risk to the fetus. In fact, it actually reduced the risk of having an overweight baby. So, we've talked about the risks associated with pregnancy, now let's explore the benefits of being physically active during pregnancy. Some of the major health risks to the mother during pregnancy are excess weight gain, high blood pressure or preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, c-section method of delivery, and low back and pelvic pain. But here's the good news, the chances of you developing any one of these health risks can be lowered significantly by exercising during your pregnancy. This has been shown by a multitude of studies comparing pregnant women who engage in moderate aerobic activity to pregnant women who did not engage in any exercise. Lastly, exercising during pregnancy may also help women reduce the physical discomforts of labor. Now that we know the benefits of exercising during pregnancy, you may be wondering what guidelines you should follow. The current Canadian guidelines state that all pregnant women without contraindications should be encouraged to participate in moderate aerobic and strength conditioning exercises as part of a healthy lifestyle during pregnancy. Let's pause for a second here. What are contraindications? Contraindications are conditions that may cause more harm than good if you exercise. You should not exercise if you have restrictive lung disease, a weak or incompetent cervix that can cause preterm labor, persistent second and third trimester bleeding, if your placenta blocks the cervix after 26 weeks, and severe anemia. So, when is the right time to exercise? Many women find the best time to start exercising is in the second trimester, when nausea, vomiting, and fatigue of the first trimester have passed and before the physical limitations of the third begin. The PowerMedX for pregnancy is a tool used by doctors to screen women interested in participating in physical activity during pregnancy and suggests using the FIT principles. The F stands for frequency. When starting out, it is advised to begin with 15-minute sessions three times a week and gradually increase to 30-minute sessions four times a week. I is for intensity. Exercise should be of moderate intensity which can be determined using the talk test. T is for time. Aerobic activity should be preceded by a brief warm-up of 10 to 15 minutes, then the exercise, followed by a short cool-down for another 10 to 15 minutes. Finally, the last T is for type. Activities you should partake in are those that minimize the risk of losing your balance and fetal trauma, cause less trauma to joints and ligaments, and don't involve bouncing up and down. 
Brisk walking, stationary cycling, swimming, and aquafit are all appropriate activities. Running, extreme weightlifting, and contact sports are not. You should also avoid exercising in warm and humid environments, exercising while lying on your back past four months of pregnancy, activities which involve physical contact or a danger of falling, and training for athletic competitions. You should also always maintain adequate nutrition and hydration. Lastly, it is very important that you stop exercising and consult your doctor if you experience any of the following. Excessive shortness of breath, chest pain, dizziness or faintness, painful uterine contractions, leakage of amniotic fluid, or vaginal bleeding. Through this video, we hope that you've gained a better understanding about the benefits and guidelines of exercising during your pregnancy. Please note that this video is not intended to replace physician advice and diagnosis. If you are unsure of whether exercise during pregnancy is safe for you, please consult your doctor before attempting any type of physical activity. For more informational videos like this one, subscribe to our Demystifying YouTube channel.